Camille Ballange. Daniel Prorider. Yannick Braun. Bicycle Mechanic. So winning the, the World Cup was just like coming down, like I, it was so stressful. Um, I was waiting this moment pretty much the whole season and um, it was just, I was just stoked because uh, it was over and I gave everything and I was just empty and stoked. So. Honestly, I didn't know if I could still win uh, the overall, like um, I took like day by day and the priority was just to get back on the bike as soon as I could and I didn't know, I never had such an injury before and I didn't know how fast I could come back, like I heard everything from two weeks to seven, so, so I really didn't have any plan but I made everything possible so I could come as fast as possible and uh, I wasn't expected to come after two and a half weeks but I could so that was just amazing and from then on, for sure, it was in my mind. In my mind, but before that, I didn't even thought really of, of the overall because I had so much to do to get back to my on my bike and just um, yeah have my mobility back. And so I had a lot of uh, stuff to do. So I was just focused on that. And then once I was back on my downhill bike at World Champ, then for sure I thought about it. Yeah, for sure we spoke. Uh before we got um, in Leche back on the bike and we had a few thinkings and normally I knew she pushed more in race run and this time for sure she, uh, she couldn't so we uh, did some adjustment on suspension side and maybe you saw it and um, we did like a welcome grip and also on the glove and see she can attach her hand on the grip and like it helps her because she didn't have this um, force in the hand to ride the bicycle. And also I had a lot of problem with my pectoralis. It was super hard for me to do a bench press or like a push-up. So um, we also narrowed my handlebar a little bit. So I was more like going into the triceps instead of being large and as always. So I also went to 740 instead of 716. So basically I started mountain biking when I was doing my uh, bachelor in sport in Makona. Um, we had uh, one week of biking during the, the studium, the studies, and I really enjoyed it. And I mean, I was biking a bit with my family before, but like I didn't even have my own bike. And then, uh, yeah, I discovered it and it was super fun. And also on the area of Beal, I met some people that were riding and then I went more into Enduro and I started, started racing like that and from Enduro I moved on to, to Downhill but basically it was during my studies in sports. Um, I mean you don't decide to be pro just like that, it's like it just goes like you just have to have good results and find a team but um, in 2018, um, I decided to switch to downhill and I did only three World Cups because yeah, I wasn't prepared and that was only what I could do. Uh, I was still working and then and the year after I decided to go full on and do a full World Cup circuit. I still uh, worked then, but I made everything possible so I could travel and do all the rounds and it went really well and I had some great results. So in 2020, I was lucky enough to find a, a team. And from then on, with the support I had, I decided to go full pro, to really like focus on racing and make everything possible to be the best. So I, I stopped uh, walking and I really focus on racing. So I'll say from 2020, it was the first year where I really went pro after that, after that year, so in 2021, I was only biking and not walking anymore. Yeah, I think um, we 
knew a bit and it was funny, it was like her first dummy season and she could go to the World Champs in Lenzerheide and I was a mechanic for Swiss cycling and there you have normally um, three riders and she was one of them and that, I think that was the first time we meet us and work a bit together just for this race yeah, and after um, I did also a few races but not on a higher level and then I get the opportunity to work with her uh, in the team when she gets her contract. Yeah. Yeah, I could choose my mechanic, but like you said, in 2018 was my first world champ, so I didn't have any mechanic, but with the Swiss team you, you get one. So uh, I was uh, with Yannick and I really had a good feeling during the weekend with him. And then two years later, when I joined the team, they had to hire a mechanic and he asked me if I wanted to choose one. And I was like, yeah, sure, why not? So I asked a bit around and Yannick approached me and said that he was motivated and I remembered him from, from uh, World Champ 2018 and I was like, yeah, this is the guy I need. So I was super stoked he, he wanted to, to come with me in the adventure and since then it went pretty well. Um, first I learned uh, bicycle mechanic. Um, the reason was I was riding like uh, since I was a child and yeah, really like all with two wheels so it was um, new that I learned a job like this. After I did few races and like on national um, level and after I had a little bit enough of bicycle maybe I crashed also too hard and then I learned informatic and but uh, I feel then the love is still there for bicycle so now with this job it's so cool I uh, can match both like the love of bicycle a little bit of informatic like data and this stuff and like for me it's like I don't not nothing against like normal bicycle but for me it's so cool um, to work on the highest level and when you uh, work uh, one hour more per day no nobody says hey you are too slow or something just yeah thanks for your effort so it's pretty cool to work like that Oh, I mean, for sure, super important. I was, when I started, I was doing everything by my own and it was fine until a certain level because I was just like looking at my bike and it was okay not to have mechanical, but if you want to go um, further and be better, you have to have everything died on your bike and that's taking so much energy to like think about the suspension and change this and change that. If you don't have someone that you trust, like you're not going to be able to do it. So. Yannick is not only just like making my bike and just like tightening the bolt, uh, he's also really helping me um, to have a lot of confidence and be like, we work together and we try to have the best setup possible for me. He tries to understand what I feel. I try to tell him what, what, how I feel on the bike and with the time we, we understand each other. And it's super hard to find someone that you can trust and like I will never check my bike before I start or anything. I know he's, he's been doing everything and that's, that's super important because I can focus 100% on what I have to do and on a, I don't have to worry about anything on my bike. So that's, that's super cool. Like he knows a lot, like he said, he come from, from the biking mechanical side, but also informatic and he's, he's like super interested to push stuff. And it was like, he's always trying to find something that works better. And I think this is the most important, like if you work with someone that is also pushing you, otherwise you just stay in the same level all the time. But with him, we really try to go every year further. So that's also super motivating for me. Oh, it's super passionate. And like you said, it doesn't count the hours. That first of all is pretty much the only, me oh, we can say the only mechanic on the circuit that has two really pro rider, like two good athletes, Bernard Coulange and I. And that's a lot of work, even if you have just one. And he's like, he doesn't care if he has from seven in the morning to 11 in the evening. He's always the first to be in the pit and the last to leave. And he's taking his time, like he wants to do everything and he's never gonna do it fast. He's like, 
taking that, that, and you always make time to speak and see that and sex. So that's sometimes I'm, I'm like, you don't want to do stuff faster and just be over. But he's like, yeah, he's just loving. I think he's just loving it and he's just enjoy it. And he also takes time to speak to people and and always think about what they could improve and what she was the other are doing. And so yeah, it's so just super passionate and. Yeah, he wants to improve everything on the bike and it's super sick what he does. Everything's gonna be alright. Um, a person who knows what she wants. So for me it's like also really motivate to work with someone who goes 100% for a thing. And yeah, that's cool to see and like how mentally strong a person can be and that's uh, looking really to her, like that's really motivating for me. Just the only thing, but I think when you are, when you want something really hard, you want to win. Like maybe losing is not like uh, her uh, best strength, yeah, but I think you need this. You need to want to win and like that's really motivated and like to go for something or what she said, yeah, trying some new stuff that it needs a lot of time and a lot of effort and um, she's never afraid to go this uh, long way and that's really motivated for me. Uh, right now is Leger in France. I don't know, I like that it's so super natural, super large, and they didn't build a lot of stuff. It's pretty much all by hand, and you have a lot of line choices, line choices and there are a lot of ruts, and yeah, I just like it. It's also the right uh, length, like it's not too short, but it's not too long either, like you don't, you're not dying. Uh, for example, like for William, or a super long track that is over five minutes, so yeah, it's just, the perfect combination and of course like the, the fans in France are crazy so maybe it's also why I like it there the most. Yeah for sure World Champ is always uh, special like this year but yeah I think having a World Cup in France is always kind of a, the highlight of the year. Well, I, I will say he, he starts the day before me so I don't know what. Yeah, like we have to go like even in before it starts the uh, preparation for the race day, like bicycle, we look the weather and we do like tire choice, a little bit of suspension, maybe, yeah, the last adjustments. And yeah, like what's special is that you do just one training yeah. run and before the final. So everything has to be perfectly for this one chance. And like normally um, you go twice, but she prefers to go one. And after that, we don't have too many times. Time, so I prepare like the race bike really fast and that she can get up there. Yeah, so we have training from eight to nine, but I never go. I go only at that run. So I prefer to sleep in the morning and just be fresh and do a really good warm up. And then I just go for one run at 10:15. Uh, so when I come back, it's around 11:15, and most of the time I have to go up again at 12. So it has only 45 minutes to make sure everything is ready. And in this time, I try to eat something, and then um, I get changed and I go up again. And um, yeah, that's it. Then I'm already at the start, and then I do my warm up, and it's time to race. So. The race day goes pretty fast. I mean, uh, yeah, just do one run before and then it's already time to go. Um, this is really um, different from the tracks. And maybe uh, when we know the track, we have the same bicycle maybe like last year or so. So then we are really fast, I think. Sometimes we think we are really fast and the trouble comes and other tracks, maybe the track uh, change a lot. Then we have also like a lot of adjustment. But a few times it's like almost nothing, maybe more on the tire side and sometimes you do, do every run something and like almost to the final. And what's special is like, yeah, the track change really fast sometimes or the girls have like training and then uh, uh, 
yeah, with 11.15, but she said it's good and it's not too long, but um, sometimes in the afternoon it's getting drier and they have just training in the morning, so we have to think about that. So we have almost few, almost every time few change just for race run. But if we, if we looked at the setting we had during the year, for sure I've been like going up and changing stuff, but if you look the, for the race run, it was pretty much always the same. So we, for sure, I need to start a bit softer because I'm going slower and I need to have a bike that I can ride. But if we look at the race setup for the race, it was pretty much always the same, except for Monsatan, but like yeah. the other track were pretty More similar. just like air or something, yeah. just not on like compression side or something more on like the characteristics of the track like bigger impact we have to exactly. carry out about it. Uh, it's uh, three I would say this year. It's like uh, like two normal ones and the special ones for world champs. No, it's a uh, uh, for sure, they are like perfectly. It's not about that. It's to be sure 100%. And like when you go um, overseas races, then you are, um, it's the best thing you have all is new. So you are 100% sure. And for sure, it's like a new bike is always uh, better than a used one. Yeah. It looks better. They did a few adjustments as it was a brand new bike and it. It was still a bit a prototype at the beginning of the year. They, they also changed it because they had new specification on the bike that we could change. So that was also why we changed it. But the bike itself, it's not broken. It's just more that we're 100% sure that nothing's going to happen and we build it for new. But I, I, I will survive with one, but it's better if we can change. And then we have a special color for World Champ, so it's an extra frame. Um, every race. Um, that means I check like everything, like all the bearings, re cleaning, regreasing, yeah, like fork series, all that stuff. So it's like almost yeah, fresh every race. So like this, we are 100% sure that nothing can happen. And like with two riders you have to be prepared so it's less work for me on a race a week and less stress so it's like when I come to a race the bike is fully prepared. No, when we arrive normally we have one day and also we can use the day of the track walk then we can do the service and then just the adjustment for the track or for training so we have enough time but like, yeah, for sure I prefer uh, to come back to the workshop and do it there, but it's, yeah, it works also on the road. I think maybe around eight, something like that. It's like, also when it's new, um, I open every bearing and put like the motor uh, grease in it. So I'm 100% sure it's the right grease, enough grease in it. And we have like other liquid for fork. We we are sure like all is prepared. So and yeah, chain loop. And... Um, I think it's different. Like building new one. I think it's um, uh, the uh, bike grease because then I use this at a lot and. Otherwise, because in service I like the bike wash because it's so easy to uh, clean the bike properly and for servicing it's um, way easier when you have uh, like a really clean bike and do a disassembling and stuff like this, it's much easier. Yeah, honestly I do if it's super super dry and the bike is like still new, I'm not gonna wash it or just with like, um, a, pa like towel. a towel like or something. But um, yeah, I do for sure lube it and uh, wash it. I like it to, I like to store my bike clean and um, I like to wash them all the time. Yeah, I will say the bike lube and I use the 
brake cleaner also quite a lot, also just to clean my workshop. It, it works super well. And uh, yeah, the quick clean is super easy if it's not so dirty. So I just take the, the quick clean and I don't need uh, water. And if I want the bike to be super clean, I use the bike wash and then uh, I use the, the water and everything is like new. Um, I don't need time off the bike already. <laughs> I tried every year to be like, okay, I take like a month off or whatever, but then I, I can't. Like this year, um, it was a bit different because I was like still super sore from my collarbone. So I took a week off, but then I had Swiss champ anyway. So I was back on my bike. And two days after I flew, uh, fly to, I flew to, to Whistler for two weeks. And obviously I took my bike with me. So I was riding every day. And when I came back, it was also still nice weather, so I also went, uh, yeah, I don't know, twice a week or three times, depending, but it was, it was without a plan. So for me, that's the most important. Like, I don't need to be off my bike, but I just need to have some times, like a month, where I can decide whatever I want to do. If I, I, I want to be on my bike, I can, but if I want to stay on my couch, I can also. So for me, that's the most important. But I'm not really happy to go on holiday or something without the bike. I'm pretty, I get bored pretty fast. <laughs> uh, yeah, honestly, not that much like I want, but like um, directly after the season, I uh, get to holidays with my girlfriend and I was just riding bicycles. <laughs> I, you I get to the... ride in system. Exactly, yeah. <laughs> Normally I was just there as a mechanic and come and say, yeah, let's race. And yeah, it was a cool decision to ride bicycle together because like, yeah, normally don't spend too much uh, time together on the bicycle. So it was, yeah, uh, was cool. really cool, yeah. In quality, I was in front, but then in the race, I was behind him. <laughs> <laughs> so, battle is on for next year. Yeah. <laughs> um, we just got a calendar for 2023, but it's obviously it's not fixed because it's early, but we have a training camp already end of November, end of this month. Uh, for the tire and then uh, it will, it's going to be pretty chill until January and then from all say February we will start slowly uh, for sure every month we do something with the team and then from March on it gets a bit more intense and we have a bit more training camp and a bit more races so we can prepare well but everything is kind of planned plan already and then we know we just need to decide exactly where we, we're gonna go but we kind of decided the date with the whole team together so we can fix it in our calendar and we know what, what we're gonna have to do. Yeah, like um, now it's really important that we have like uh, testing this year that we can order or special stuff for next year. <laughs> um, now it's important to test um, new stuff for next season and like the other things like the training bike and stuff is already always prepared so it's not um, a big thing and yeah we're looking to order all organize I think it's more on this side now to prepare the season and looking um, where we can have the best uh, training opportunities and then yeah it starts like I say, it really in February, and then um, hopefully the new stuff come, and then we can work with that, looking if all it's good, and then we are ready for racing. Yeah? Um, yeah, like uh, on to this season was a big change with a new frame, like full new um, development. Like the seasons before, it was just like. A little adjustment so it was easier but um, yeah we're getting in so um, we continue with this frame so it's way more easier and it's cool to have like more time to focus on other things because when you have a brand new bike you have to learn how the bike works and now we knew this exactly so we can um, 
focus more like on tires, wheels and stuff like that, yeah. Uh, for me, it will be for sure. It's always a bit uh, stressful when you start the season, even though I won the last three opener races. Um, you never know, like you, if you prepared well enough, and how the other are prepared, and so it's always like more stressful than the other races. Plus, it's gonna be at home, and you you want to do well at home, so it's gonna be stressful for sure. But um, if we do everything correctly, there is no reason it should go wrong. I'm super excited. The track is getting better and better every year, so that's also something I'm looking forward to it because the track is now really cool to ride. Um, so yeah, it's, it's gonna be more stressful for sure, uh, especially having the number one also on my bike, on my bike and everything. But it's also a chance to have uh, the fans on my side, and uh, I will be prepared for it. Yeah, and I think it's a cool start, uh, not far from home. Yeah. So it's like no big travel. Yeah, no big travel. I think for us it's really cool yeah? um, to start the Thompson and hopefully. Uh, take these vibes and drive for the full season again. Well, I, my goal is always to get better and better. Uh, we have a lot of stuff we can still improve. Um, on my side with the team, with Yannick, and so that's my goal to improve and then for sure just win more World Cup. Um, we can always win more. <laughs> for sure, it's like I, I tick some boxes by winning the, the championship and, and world champ. I would love to do it again. And uh, the best will be to do it in the same year, uh, world champ and the overall. But um, the competition is going to be super, super tough next year with uh, Tani and Marin back, maybe Rachel, with some of the super strong junior coming in elite. So I think the, the field is going to be super stacked. And I was already pretty tight this year, so yeah, I think it's going to be a good challenge in the year and uh, it's only going to make me better, so I'm excited for it. <laughs> I always get this question, but I cannot say now uh, where I will end up, but also I'm getting pretty old. <laughs> when I was still 20, it was pretty easy to change sport but now uh, with 32 soon 33 I'm not gonna be able to do a lot of other sports so for now I'm just super happy in bike in biking uh, scene and I hope I can still stay in this um, sport for longer but we'll see I mean I take day by day and year by year as long as I have fun I will continue and if one day I don't then I will for sure find something else. Yeah, I actually started last year, but I went maybe three times on the bike. Didn't have time to ride more. This year I went also just one time. Uh, I'm gonna go on weekend again. And I don't know, I, had, I just had a new crazy goal maybe for this winter because it's so long until the season starts. I take it also as an opportunity and MX riding is super, super stuff and a really good training. So. Yeah, I'm looking to maybe race some some MX races, we'll see. But really, just for fun. I'm not doing it to maybe get into it, but just really more to, to have a really good training. It's way longer than in biking, like they do like 20 minutes hit and we have only five minutes. So for me, it's going to be super hard, but it can be a really good endurance training for me. And also, it's like, like pretty much exactly the opposite of what we do like in biking we do a lot of um, like braking and like absorbing shock where in, in motocross you are, you are more like pulling and I feel like it's super cool for the balance of the body to have a bit more like the back uh, while riding MX and still it's a bit similar like it's two wheels like you need to do a bit the same movement so I feel like it can be a really good training for me and I will be a bit more excited than just do my normal routine. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, for sure. Especially in MX, it gets more dirty and it's more complicated to, to clean it than a bike. Um, but like I said, I've only been uh, so far once or two times a year, so that wasn't a big deal. But yeah, I'm, I also have everything I need for, to clean my, my motor 
from Motorex and we're also lucky to have uh, really good oil for the motor and stuff, so that's super fortunate. Like, it's a good, uh, good start to, be, uh, to race in the, with an MX bike. Thank you. But you mini mech, see you in the next one.